Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and in today's video, I want to show you more about the channel mixer, specifically about color IR photography in Photo Raw 2020. Special thanks to Terry Olson for providing me a photo to work with today. Terry's one of my members on Patreon. Thanks very much. If you want to see more of Terry's work, check the links below. I've got pointers that you can check out Terry's portfolio. Now, here is a color IR photo as it comes out of our cameras here and you know it has this very you know, unnatural looking color skies are orange the foliage is depending on what color the leaves are it can be anywhere from you know awkward looking blue to uh, to anything here this is more like an off-white and one of the first things I like to do is just experiment with either AI match or auto and just let the tool do a little bit of balancing here and I'll try both of them and for this one I kind of like how auto did its thing and let me hit the auto white balance too, because that tends to help out as well. Let's undo that last auto change there. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep that because what I want to get is I want to get that that brighter looking orange up in the sky because when we do the uh, channel mixer and flip the red and blue channels, that's where we're going to start to get those blue skies coming in. Now I've done some processing on this. I'm just going to walk you through some of the things I did here. The very first thing is the channel mixer. You hit that IR swap, and now we start to see what we would expect. Water is looking more blue. This is even looking nice. It's got white there. The sky is taking on blue. Yeah, so there's a lot of blue in this scene, and we can see that throughout the photo here. From there, it's kind of our standard types of things. We're really just working with another photo at this point. So I added some dynamic contrast to punch up details a little bit. Bleach bypass. That way to get some uh, more contrast. So that's just to give a nice contrast bump overall. For this one, going in an artistic direction, I kind of liked adding a little bit of a, a reddish tint. Just increase the red a little bit on the curves, and that made a nice little tinting to some of the trees. The tone enhancer, using one of the more detailed settings. You know, this detail is way up here at 50, and that added nice punch to this foliage, a color adjustment, I'll show you that there. It's a variation on sky, again, just bringing things uh, into uh, you know, increasing blues and saturating things a bit. And then finally, a vignette, just to draw the eye in there. And uh, overall, I really just uh, found that once I'd done some basic auto corrections and develop, do the channel mixer, hit the IR swap button. From there, you're working pretty pretty well with your other filters. Now, there's there are some things when you're working with a color IR photo and you start adjusting at colors. Just remember that you know underneath the colors are swapped. So I mean, if you start playing around with blue sliders, you might be really more affecting what was orange in the original photo and vice versa. But uh, that's more standard for IR photos. But uh, I wanted to just show that the the channel mixer being a really nice addition to Photo Raw 2020. If you've got color IR photos, this really opens up a lot more opportunity for you to centralize your editing in Photo Raw if that's one of the tools that you're using, as opposed to having to bounce out to something else to do just a channel swap. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.